My name is Crystal Gonzalez and I've been a police officer for four and a half years now in my department. And I grew up on the south side of town. So we are actually going to approach on the little house that I grew up in. And it was actually my first encounter with law enforcement. My uh, neighbors called the police because they thought I had stole their, their little girl's bike, but we just had the same bike. The only difference was that her bike had little beads on it didn't. So they had called the cops and I remember, um, if I'm correct, it was actually Officer Lopez that responded and a female officer. And I remember telling my mom, 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 look, like, that's a female cop. And I just remember, I was just so amazed by it. I was just like, look, mom, if she can do it, I could do it. And then we ended up moving to another house and it was a little bigger house it was definitely an upgrade i had my own room i'm like hey you know i'm 14 years old i have my own room it was pretty cool but um that's where i had another experience with law enforcement and it wasn't it wasn't as good as my first one we actually had a home invasion in 2007 and i was scared i remember you know being 14 and just worried for my family and I'm like oh my god like what can I do what can I do to like help them what can I do 14 years old and I'm here sitting thinking like what can I do to like make this better and I didn't know what to do I remember uh, calling the police and they showed up quick they showed up quick and they detained everyone who needed to be detained and I never had such a relief feeling just thinking okay they're here like it's gonna stop gonna stop now and it did it did as soon as you know the bad guys you know heard the the sirens they they just they just stopped they stopped fighting and I just remember thinking like they're gonna help us now and they did they did so let me tell you the story real quick and it's actually really funny so there was a, a friend and she actually works for us now and I won't I won't say her name but she told me, Crystal, I applied at the Rosa Police Department and I already had my first interview. And it just automatically clicked in my head and I'm like, what? She's like, yes. And I was like, well, like, what did you need? Like, I was so interested, you know, it's a conversation. Like, I had so many questions. She's like, you need to do it. Like, you know, they need female officers, you know, like they were, you know, their questions were hard. Like, you never been in trouble, never been arrested. Like, you should do it, you should do it. And I remember my uh, ex-boyfriend actually, he had told her previously for me uh, to get there. He's like, don't tell Crystal because if you tell Crystal, she, I already know like she wants to go for it and she's gonna go for it. And once I knew that she went for it and it wasn't like hard, she didn't feel intimidated. She didn't have uh, experience, you know, law enforcement experience. She didn't have like, she didn't feel insecurity. And I'm like, how do you like train to be a police officer without being a police officer without military background? So as soon as she told me that, yeah, she tested and that I, I should hurry up and, and um, apply. And I was like, you know what, I did. I remember that exact moment. I got on my phone and I applied on my phone. I was like, mom, guess what? And she's like, what, mija, what? I was like, I, I applied for the Rosa Police Department. My mom's first reaction was like, why'd you do that? <laughs> I felt like she, she like was like, mija, are you, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, yes, mom, I want to do it. I want to do it. How did my family feel about me becoming a police officer? They were proud, they were happy for me. There was their moments where they felt worried. They're like, well, like, what if something happens to you? And I always said, mom, you know, it could happen to anybody. You know, like, it, it could, I could pass away in a car accident. You know, I could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. It could happen anywhere. But my faith is always like, make me feel secure. Not just that, you know, but I have the, they trained me and you know, the experience I've been through it helped me overcome. The advice I would give a recruit if they were joining, just to be prepared, because you know, there is a lot of responsibility because you're gonna have to set your needs aside sometimes to take care of other people. So I wouldn't want to be a police officer anywhere else. 
I was born and raised here in Roswell, and this is my community. This is where I grew up. This is where I want to make a difference. I'm Crystal Gonzalez. I've been with the Roswell Police Department for four and a half years now, and this is my story. <laughs>